I'm number one seed, he's number two seed. And we both obviously need a win because you don't know what's going to happen with the other fight. But yeah, it doesn't matter to me. I, I've always wanted the hardest fight, so I'm happy with this fight. I want the tough fight. He sounds like he really wants to bring it to me and uh, bring the fight to me, which excites me. That's how I like to fight. So we'll meet in the middle of the cage. Where do you see your advantage over Josh? I think I can beat Josh everywhere. You know, I'm, I'm a bigger guy. I think I'm a lot stronger than him, more powerful. I think my boxing and my striking is gonna be better than him. As well as I haven't shown too much of my wrestling and my grappling, but uh, I'm very confident I can match him with that and defend his takedowns and take him down and you know, ground and pound him or submit him. So I'm confident wherever the fight goes. What did winning the title mean to you? And what would it mean to you to get a shot at winning your second title? Winning that first title, you know, that was, you know, the best moment of my life. I wanted to be a world champion. I set a goal to be a world champion in MMA for so long and to finally achieve that, it was just, you know, all my dreams and my goals of, you know, 13 years or however long I had been training of hard work come true. And my goal now is to be considered the best fighter, the best light heavyweight in the world. And, you know, to do that, I've got to go keep winning these fights and, you know, go win more than one title. I'm excited to go out there this year and and get another belt wrapped around my waist. Yeah, I know. We're gonna get it. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good time. Just having family and friends around is just, makes you feel comfortable, gets you through fight week, people to talk to, people to encourage you, people to let you know um, how hard you've worked. It's just, uh, it's amazing, man, having family and friends here, for sure. I got two more other teammates here, you know. It's like a mini American top team over here. People don't understand the buildup to these fights, man. They're amazing, and it only takes, it only takes you going to one of them to understand that. This is a, it's an event. Fight week is an amazing, amazing thing um, even though they're not fighting in there i think they feel somewhat what i feel nerves happiness uh feeling um grateful overall just being loved too man i think it's such an important feeling can i stand on this uh, i'll ask for forgiveness not permission everybody wants to have their team with them it makes them feel good nice Oh, Mick is looking amazing. He's uh, what's fun about fight week? It's not about necessarily learning anything new or doing anything crazy. It's about kind of peaking at the right time. We did all the work the previous uh, six, seven weeks at H2O in Montreal. You know, right now just reviewing, getting them pumped up for Friday. We're pretty much veterans here at the PFL. With Olivier, uh, we won ten fights in a row. Mick was with him pretty much at every fight, every step of the way to the, the two world titles. And what's fun about it, it's his time. I think last show, people didn't know Mick. It's pretty special to see from people not knowing him, uh, from probably the biggest underdog in the last show to number one in the rankings. I think nobody has seen someone like Mick before. He's incredible in all aspects of the game. For finish, time. Perfect. He's unstoppable. To hook. I think what you'll see is he's the ultimate finisher. So you're gonna see him go for the finish. I think he's the most exciting, and uh, we're gonna keep proving it every every fight. I feel awesome. Uh, I count the day. I count the hours. Uh, can't wait to be in the cage, honestly. One, two, One, two three. It's a war with your head, like right now it's just like not fun because you're dieting, you're, you're, you're getting ready to be on weight, so it's all in the head right now. It's uh, just being strong mentally and making a name for myself. People stop doubting me and uh, that's fun. That's a fun thing uh, to, to do. Ah! Almost there. Ah! Hands, up. Hands up, Mick. Let's go.
Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Man. Yeah. I really appreciate you coming by. Man. What's your name? Xavier. 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 Thanks for having me. Man. All right, so uh, let me show you where we're going to be. Uh, I want to introduce myself. My name is Impa Kasanganai. Uh, my fight in the PFL. Last year, I'm grateful that I won the title. I just appreciate you having me and just wanted to share some perspective on like how we strike in MMA, but boxing oriented. Our members were super stoked about it when I mentioned this opportunity to them. A lot of people were really looking forward to it. Uh, a lot of people are really starstruck. We don't get a lot of professional fighters coming by and training our guys in our place, so it's a really exciting opportunity for all of us, for sure. You fight? Yeah, you fight. I can tell the way she's at. It's good. I'm grateful, you know, I have a, let's say too much is given, much is required, and God's blessed me with, uh, with fighting and great training to help me develop the talent to fight. I think one of the best things you can do is give back and train and share it with other people. Time, good. If I'm gonna fight this guy, I'm not gonna be square because I switched stance. I'm gonna focus on where my feet are, I'm gonna move. Right, so now, did you switch your stance? Yeah, now he's gotta be smart too. Chin down, and even if we are loose, we're kind of playing with each other, right? So he's kind of fast, so I gotta read it. I don't have to shoot right away. The biggest thing is when you move the stance, have fun with it. This is a drill to have fun and get yourself comfortable. It was awesome. He taught me so much about footwork and like making me be aware and like putting us in real fight scenarios, even though it was just shadow boxing, it was, it was really good and it was really useful. And I'll take it back with me. So we just talked about his stance, right? So remember what I just showed you about your hands? Yeah, he's always, always trying to teach kids, always trying to lead by example. You know, so this is basically what he does day in and day out. Every single trainer I've had all the way from Jimbo, I'm very, very grateful because that's what helped me get here today. The lessons I teach are lessons continued from the ones that love me so much and have a full class and a full house. Really is an honor and all the students are cool and um, I know they're gonna watch their fight. All right, there we go. Everybody look right here, one, two, three. So today, uh, the main objective to wake up the body, to feel it again after the long travel. I'm uh, really grateful to be here. The fight camp went as planned. I haven't been so ready before. Impa said that he will end the fight in the first round. I don't think so. I, uh, I see this fight uh, will be a great fight against two uh, boxers. He will uh, try to knock me out, but I will wait for him and uh, I will take the shots. I will put him in danger, very big danger. I am a big underdog here, but uh, I don't feel pressure at all. I'm so ready and I can't wait to go in there. Pool, let's go to pool, relax. Sure. Me and Impa met in the cage after I won the PFL Europe ch Championship. He um, strapped the belt around my waist uh, when I won the championship. He said if it's cold, I'm not going. It will be a great story when I beat him. <laughs> Relaxing. This is my motivation. I know all pressure is on him. I'm really relaxed and I really come here prepared and sharp. It's miserable. It's like they say, it's like that's the first fight right there is making, making the weight. I've been dieting for months and drinking two gallons of water a day, going to the bathroom every 10 minutes, it seems like. <laughs> uh, the life. <laughs> After every one of my fights, my grandma makes me a homemade cake from scratch. And it's like the best cake I've ever had in my life. And I cannot wait. <laughs> but now since these fights are like every, Six weeks, I'll run like three to five miles, eat a piece of cake, run three to five miles, eat another piece, <laughs> you know, like, whatever I gotta do to get that cake in me, though. That thought of losing, man, makes me train all day long, and there's no stopping, and I got three kids to feed, and it's different now, for sure. So many sacrifices. I, I never had a dad to go to any of my games, teach me anything, and I told myself I'd never miss my kids' soccer and football games, and I missed some. I had to for training, and uh, man, it like broke my heart, and it makes me want to cry. But uh, I know, like, you know, I'm doing this for him and my family, and the sacrifices are gonna all amount to something big for my family, you know. And I grew up super 
poor with a single mom that worked her butt off for me and my brother and she got two jobs during holidays to get us presents and my kid has it so good compared to what I had. I'm working for, uh, for him to have a better life than me and I think that's what parenting is all about and being a dad is all about. And it's all about hard work. The harder I work, the easier life and better life they're gonna have. Oh. Oh. Spot. It's good to have that motivation and that drive, you know, for sure. Ah. Well, he's always wanted to be a fighter. I started teaching when he was young. Then he was boxing. Uh, he won the Junior Olympic Golden Gloves four years in a row. And then uh, he wrestled in high school. When you get him in that position, don't just let it go to the head, hit him to the body too. And when he graduated high school, he sat me and his mom down. He said, I know you guys thought I wanted to go play football and go to college, but I want to be a fighter. You gave me the option, that's my option. So here we are. You only get one chance in life, man. You better give it all you got. Right. He looks amazing. Like, I, I don't see anybody beating him. Brett's a, he's an accomplished veteran, but uh, I don't think he can deal with Solomon's hand speed or his power. And uh, honestly, I mean, I, I don't see it going past the second round. Uh, I think Solomon's gonna put him to sleep. All right. He's always wanted this. He's always been hungry for it. He's always thirsting for knowledge. So here he is. I'm proud of him. <laughs>